All right. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for having me here. So look, as you've seen from the cases, uh, from Tiger cases just now, AI will be the biggest technology revolution the world has ever seen. We think that probably bigger than internet itself. My name is Adi Tip. I'm really here to show you a bit of the evolution of AI, I'll tell you a little bit about journey and its history, and really how this can impact your respective industries. So look, Bill told me this community loves data. So I've included some data for you to, this, these are some of the latest data you have, right? So of, of course, I'm gonna show you some Google search data. This is the travel search interest year on year. And look, it's been an incredible journey. After you know, the, next, the tough couple of years, uh, followed by some spikes, obviously that, that is the revenge uh, travel which started in 2021, uh, domestic. And then APAC, which is the blue line, we really peak in 2022. But then if you looked in the last couple of months or so, you can see that the search interest year on year has pretty much sta stabilized. So it feels like things are normalizing. But has it though? I mean, if you ask the consumers, you, the, you, the, all of them will tell you that there are so many information out there, so many sources, and to be fair, as a consumer, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate, it can be very confusing. If you look at APAC, for example, 62% said they plan to travel in the next 12 months. Actually, for Thailand, it's actually 73. And if you look at the number of sources they use you know, to, to, to dream and to, to plan for their trip, uh, almost five sources are being used for inspiration in Thailand alone, with APAC about four. And as for the touch points in Google, there are actually 33 touch points uh, uh, happening at Google platforms alone. So this includes the likes of Google Search, Google Maps, uh, watching their favorite hotel reviews on YouTube and so on. So you can see there's a lot of information at hand. And as a result, your know, travelers are, are researching and planning and they're becoming a, a bit more discerning. Now why is that? Travelers these days, they are more meticulous. Right? They, they have to double check every fact. They read your website, they go and fact check, they go and search some more, uh, read another website, watch another video on YouTube. So uh, they are more meticulous when it comes to information. They're also better informed. They know where to find the right prices. They, they know where to find the right deals. And then of course, they're very dynamic. Just because they decide to add to cart does not mean they're gonna check out. None, no journeys are linear anymore. So what does this mean? Look, to put it simply, in the face of unpredictability and volatility, people respond with uncertainty. And as a result, decisions have become harder in this year and beyond. So people in APAC are really journeying into the unknown. So how do we get around that? Obviously, today we're here to talk about AI. Now, AI is the next big shift. A lot of you remember, like me, when we started the first tech revolution of internet with modem starting, and then mobile came when basically internet was actually in your pocket, like, like today. But really, AI will be the latest shift we see and probably make the biggest leap that we've ever seen before from a technology revolution standpoint. Now, as Google, uh, we've obviously pivoted into an AI company since 2016 when Sundar Pichai, our CEO of Google, uh, basically said, AI will be one of the most profound things we've ever worked on, even more so than fire in electricity. And look, just to give you a bit of a journey, I won't go through the technical details here, but this is basically what has been powering AI. Really, it started off with 2017. So this is what engineers would call the grandfather of AI, Transformers. It's safe to say that any model or any program uh, that has a T in it probably stands for Transformers. ChatGPT, for example, T comes from Transformers, so that, which is a very, very exciting program uh, uh, that we have and really you know, create a burst when it comes to AI. And also there's been a lot of developments, right? This is pretty much all the large language models that really power what you see when it comes to AI. Now our mission at Google is to really, how do we make AI helpful for everyone? Generative AI like BART or ChatGPT is, is a great case of it, but how do we make it impactful for everybody? Essentially, there are three things that we look at. So how do we make it useful for everybody, like for, for example, within all our, our apps, all our programs? How do we use AI to solve humanity's most challenging uh, ch challenges uh, to, to really get out there? And then how do we help businesses like yourselves innovate? So let me sh sh give you some example. Right, so for example, let's say uh, Google Photos, for example. These are some of the features that already exist. 
You know, we use AI, for example, to group images together so you can search easily. For example, search all the dog photos in your album. Or, you know, we all know it, whenever, whenever we go on holidays, uh, there's always photo bombers. So how can we use AI to really remove all the photo bombers in there? That's the latest one we got. It's actually be best take. So essentially, you know, you're used to this. Whenever you take group photos, somebody will have their eyes closed or make a silly face. If you can take a few, you can actually select the best face now using AI within your phone. Or BART, you know, our experiment when it comes to generative AI, uh, is really help be there to really help you answer and be your personal concierge. So lots of AI is actually powering lots of things in your pocket right now. How about society? How about big challenges? These are just some of the great cases. For example, um, getting AI to predict uh, this, the, the direction where the wildfire will spread. So this really helps the emergency responses respond in terms of the next step. Or, and this is where Google actually brought this technology to Thailand, this is basically AI uh, helping scan tons and tons of retina photos to detect lesion at the back of your eye and therefore uh, allow doctors to really uh, prevent uh, diabetic eye diseases, which is one of the most common, common causes for, for blindness. But really, it's really about businesses today, right? And according to uh, 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 McKinsey & Co., uh, obviously the biggest revenue effects uh, is actually in marketing and sales. And this year is going to be very, very, very interesting. Why? Because we asked them actually as of last month. In Thailand, about 64% plan to take the next trip in the next 12 months, which is more than APAC, and to give you context, even more than the US. How many times? Majority will travel more than five times this year. So, and this is even more than APAC, as you can see. So this represents a huge opportunity for you all. What kind of holiday? Well, all kinds, right? all kinds. Please take a photo. This is, this is the key slide here when it comes to insights. Look, uh, family fun will be, the, will be the one where Thailand over in Texas. Obviously, all are very important, uh, uh, but of course, you know, this is basically where the Thais will be really, really focusing on. Now, when it comes to Google, we are trying to assist, you know, in terms of all touch points when it comes to user journey, you know, either from exploring things to do, flights, hotels, vacation rentals, and so on. So a lot of AI solutions are actually powering into these already. As you've seen in some of the cases, in the, um, in the, in the Tiger cases, uh, generative AI will be embedded in, in, into a lot of programs. You know, uh, our BART will be connected to Google Flights and Hotels, so therefore into your system, and therefore really personalize uh, uh, results for you. If you're in advertising, we can help you reach all the users across all the Google platforms, either Gmail, Google Maps, Search YouTube, and so on, within a very, very simple, uh, sim simple uh, setup with our uh, AI solutions called Performance Max. Now, we've recently uh, uh, launched uh, the Palm API demos to really showcase the industry to of what's the possibility when it comes to Google Generative AI. So these are just some of the um, uh, illustrations as to what the capabilities are. For example, generative AI travel planner, you know, making itinerary planning very, very seamless using large language model. That's a great example of Thailand. Uh, all you gotta do is type, uh, uh, you know, solo, you plan my trip, solo travel in Thailand. It will tailor to your per preference because it knows you based on your accounts. Or, let's say a talking agent. Think of talking agent like a travel companion that basically knows everywhere you go and you can consult that anything wherever you go. Or when it comes to mood food. So mood food is basically an AI-powered food therapist that basically allows all the food travelers to really see what, to really inspire the from ingredients or restaurants. I mean, what would Thailand be as a travel destination you know, without, without food, right? Now look, just to close it off, this is very important. You are not competing with AI, but you are competing with other businesses and marketers using AI. So therefore, you building your own data will be very, very, very key. Now when it comes to you, it's about it's you. So AI really neutralizes technology capabilities. What makes a difference is that, first of all, if you implement AI and you learn from AI, you can increase uh, your, your better results of your business by 20%. But if you also give the chance for AI to learn from you, you can improve your business by 35%. So therefore, how do we, how do we start, right? How, how do we get this up? The first thing you must do is get your data right, right? Make sure you have high quality first party data 
to all consented pleas to make sure that you, you can connect directly with your consumers right away. Have the right measurement in place. Know what's good data, know what's bad data. Because if, I'm sure you've heard of garbage in, garbage in, garbage out. Make sure you have first quality data. Secondly, take action and really experiment a lot of the AI powered tools that you have. We have many templates at Google, uh, other technologies would have as well, to really help you get started. Because like I said, technology uh, has been neutralized by AI. So to start to experiment right away. And last but not least, and this is probably the most challenging, it's really about how you change your mindset within your organization. How do you change the way you look at success? How do you make sure that your KPI or your AKR is not static and really, and really changes and evolve according to your business and market changes? And this is because by 2030, 80% of marketing will be AI augmented. Consumers, like today, will expect a personalized event. So therefore, it's not a question of if anymore, but it's a question of when. So therefore, let's embrace AI to provide the best experience for your customers and for the best result for your business. And just to give you a sneak peek of the itinerary that give me a few seconds, this is my five-day itinerary in my strip to Bali. Wish me luck. Thank you very much.